This is the first game I ever made in Unity 3D. Back then, of course, I already knew, I already had some programming background in C Sharp. So I figured, oh, Unity is right down the alley. I can try that. Uh, I went with something easy, kind of like a drop down type of coin game. Um, I really got the idea from playing um, Jerry's game. This is from Rick and Morty. I wanted to do something easy for upgrades and just something I can do right away. And actually, this is my second game and this is my first actual game jam I ever participated on. Also, this is when I started using this type of Pixar character. Started getting better at doing Pixar. Um, I wanted to do enemies, something nice and easy. I still was get, trying to get familiar with or all the other model behavior scripts and everything. Like how to do enemy, how to shoot, how to you know create lives. And I was still bad at animation. This was my third game. By then, I started using the same sprite character just to make it easier on myself. I still didn't know exactly how to animate back then. So I kind of went with something easy, kind of like a little type of uh, dungeon type of crawler where you kind of solve puzzles and do other things. And in this game, this is my third game jam game. Um, this was kind of like more of a little shooter type of game, but I wanted to do. I originally got the idea from the arcade of Stardew Valley. Was I believe it was called King's Prairie. By this time, I already knew how to shoot and how to get player projectiles to come out and do all kinds of things with enemies. Hex for Fun was actually my fourth game I made, and it was another actual keep weekly game jam. In this one, I wanted to do more work with UI, kind of like work with key components, like keyboard, all that stuff. And I actually got better with animation. I got the player walking and kind of doing all kinds of things, moving around rather than just kind of being so stiff, right? And then you can have options in there that I added, which I'm, I was actually proud of. Um, it was actually hard for me trying to figure out how to do everything. But eventually I kind of understood how to, the UI system worked in Unity. It's never easy actually, it's still kind of like a pain. This next game is called Firefire, Fire Escape 2D. Um, this was actual, still same character. I was getting a little bit better with the animation. I was actually getting better with trying to like make more puzzle type of games. Trying to do a little bit different of dungeon type of animations and using other features like lock systems and using bullions and other items. Dark Portal Hunter as another game jam, and I was getting better at doing like a little top-down type of shooter. Def I think it was the same time with Enter the Gungeon started coming out, so I kind of got that in you know motivation and started doing something like a little bit like Doom or something like that, where it's gonna be more of a top-down type of player, where you can you know close portals and shoot enemies and do all kinds of things. This was also another fun one get to make. Um, I got to learn a couple of things like how to switch between weapons and do all kinds of things with this one. Slamness is a game jam game also made for the weekly game jam. This is more of a kind of like making a mess type of game. Um, also, I just started going into changing the characters as moving them around and kind of creating a mess. I really wanted to perfect more top down type of game. Um, it's always kind of hard to get it right. Um, just walking like doing different things, walking through walls, using other weapons, tools. That was always kind of like tricky for me. This World War II game was actually fun to make. By this time, I was actually getting better at pixel art, um, doing more palettes, stuff like that. Um, getting better with some of the Unity tools and also changing my game design. Like in this example, you were shooting, you can shoot at the enemies, but you can also hear your comrades, stuff like that. Um, it was something fun to do. The one thing I always liked was kind of make, making a, a good enemy AI. So I started making bosses. So in this game, the kind of like a brooch type of a boss I did in a three hour game jam. I wanted to make something cool with a nice AI kind of moving around and also still shooting at you. I also got a couple ideas to make like an angry boss always kind of like stomping down. Kind of like a bullet type of hell type of game or like enter the gungeon where you stomp down and all the bullets come out and all that crazy stuff. By this time I was getting more confident in my game design so I created Dr. Pickle and the Princess which is kind of like a, another top down survival shooter. And this one actually had a boss in there. My favorite game growing up was Jungle Strike for the Sega Genesis. Um, I wanted to do something cool like a helicopter type of game so I made Phoenix Rescue. Or it's like a typical arcade type of style of game. By this time I was much better creating enemies and doing different type of enemy AIs. I really wanted to perfect the way I wanted to do top down games. So I created this trick or treat type of battleground. Another type of survivor game. Um, this time I did more pixel art and actually took much longer time. This one took me about four to six months actually. 
In Along Came a Slam, I kind of wanted to implement also the top-down shooter that I like love doing, and also add a couple of puzzles and different type of animations and zoom in, kind of make it a different type of interesting type of game where you can do all kinds of things in this game. My Mirror Self is an actual game I did for 2019 GMTK Game Jam, and actually that was also a cool puzzle game. I wanted to do something quick, but also fun to play as well with challenging puzzle mechanics that you kind of have to figure out. By this time I was already streaming, I was already doing like 3 hour game jams, like quick games that I can do and I can just get them run right away. These were the two famous that I done. I wanted to try something else to set up top down so I did a grid based system but uh, it didn't come out too well in this dino escape game. Um, I tried something but didn't do it too well. I also did a couple ocean games like example uh, a deep diver game where you just jump and um, you go in deep. Uh, it was fun. It was actually a one-touch bun game. I did another one for the Ludum there as well. It was just you going down really deep and collecting coins and you getting different things. And the idea was more of a survivor quick game. Type of like an arcade type of game where you collect coins and you get upgrades for different things like different UI or different uh, health bars. Or survivor more. Tiny Ship Warfare was also a little tiny survivor type of game where you go around shooting boats and then try to survive. By this time I already knew how to do certain things where I can do upgrades or kind of like do like a little arrow guide. Kind of lead you through where your upgrades are and collect coins and do other things in here. It was a fun game to make as well. Jump King was starting to get pretty popular back then so I wanted to do my own little version called Jump King Bros. It is a multiplayer game with just two buttons. By this time I started making more puzzle games like an example um, a firefly going to each flower and also avoiding all the bats. It was still like an arcade style of game. For example electric ball reaction was kind of like a cinematic type of game where you follow the ball, it kind of moves around, it does different things and it destroys different obstacles. You have to solve the puzzle. Recharge bot is an actual um, kind of like a little puzzle type of mechanic type of game where you uh, have to charge up your buddies or your robot friends. And also, at the same time, when you do charge them up, you discharge your battery. So it's a little bit trickier. Piece Together was actually for the Brackies Game Jam. I actually got a good rating for this one. I enjoyed actually making this game. It's actually really fun to make. I had good puzzles. A lot of people enjoyed it. Just the only thing, it was too quick, but I didn't have enough time. Rainmaker Dural is kind of like a little puzzle game about the Spring Jam. Um, you kind of have to make it rain and get all kinds of weird mechanics to make it rain. The Scenic Route is one of my one of my popular games that I made. Um, it was actually a simple game where you just walk around and just take pictures of, of animals and scenery. And this time I started messing around with the camera and moving it around, doing cons like all kinds of things and getting better also with pixel art, doing kind of like different type of scenes and everything. I actually did all the pixel art for this. It took me a while to make, but I already had a game idea. And I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna have this game and it's gonna come out really good. I wanted to make a game like Roblox, company, something like Roblox uh, Doors, so I kind of made this one, this corridor instead, scary corridor for Halloween. I made this one while streaming as well. I wanted to do something with flashlights, so I started using, kind of playing around with the 2D lighting that Unity came up with. So I made up this kind of like flashlight game where you go around collecting batteries. Since I was already good with 2D lighting, I started wanting to do like a scary kind of like sneak or kind of like get caught type of game. So I went with this type of game where it's where you move around, you kind of sneak around, use your costume and move around. By this time, I wanted to try something new, like a platformer type of game. So I went with kind of like a, a movement of platform, kind of kind of like Ghosts and Goblins type of game. So it's actually pretty good to make. Town of Poe is the most popular game I ever made. It had a lot of hype, actually. Um, and when I was, I streamed the whole process and the idea of this game was just more of a narrative type of detective type game. I wanted the NPCs to be really smart and to respond to your actions and do something smart like AI smart where they kind of react and do all kinds of different things to, according to what you do. I wanted to do something more 3D or at least in this case 2.5D. So I went with this game called Oh Shit Boulder and then this game is kind of like a, a boulder where you're just running the boulder and then you know Try not to be slowed down and just avoiding all the obstacles that come by. And of course the final game I made is called Asterinium. This was an actual fun commercial game, my first commercial game. Um, I released it on itch, just seeing how well it will do. 
Um, didn't want to charge too much because I wanted to make it quick. Not too long, it took me six months to make. By this time I already know how to make games and especially top-down shooters. So what is next for me? Uh, I'm trying to make a little platformer game and here's a little quick intro of my game. 